All right, so we've got our hands on something that nobody else has and pretty much nobody else has even heard of. This is Meow Kit. Now, Migo, one of the devs over at Meow Kit, actually sent me this a couple months ago as a prototype. This thing is a one of one engineering sample. It is so freaking cool, but nobody else has seen this. And what's cool about the Meow Kit is that it really tries to be the next generation of Flipper Zero. It's kind of the latest and greatest, and it's coming to Kickstarter very soon. Now, Meow Kit aims to do what all the other Kickstarters have been promising it to, which is to try to dethrone the Flipper Zero as being the next latest and greatest hacking tool. And you know what? They might actually be onto something. This thing is super freaking cool and even though it's just an engineering sample this thing has a lot of potential so today we're going to take a deep dive into not only the kickstarter but the actual meow kit itself and figure out what it's all about man i am so psyched to be able to share with you guys something that nobody else has so all right let's break it down this is meow kit I was so psyched about the Meow Kit that I actually wore my Lusa Purr shirt, so I thought it was quite fitting. So quick disclaimer, as I do any time I talk about Kickstarters, don't invest in a Kickstarter unless you literally have that money to burn. We've seen the M1 by Monster Tech, the Cyper Pro, and I believe the Interrupt all be more or less Kickstarter rug pulls. So if you don't have the money, don't put it into Kickstarter. Now that being said, I've covered Kickstarters before that actually turned out to be real, like the BLE Shark Nano, and I actually got this one. This is the final product. It's super freaking cool, and it was a Kickstarter that got back. So sometimes they do come to fruition. So Migo, hey, hey. the absolute legend, is one of the devs over at Meow Kit. He reached out to me over email and showed me the project, which I had never seen before, which is weird because I've seen a lot of stuff. I look for this stuff, but it looked super, super promising. And he offered to send me an engineering sample. So of course I said yes. So let's start off by checking out the GitHub. We can see some of the specs in the overview and then we'll get hands on with this thing. All right, to the desktop. All right, so here we are down at the desktop and this is the GitHub for Meow Kit. Of course, anytime we run into projects that we like, throw them a star. I mean, it's the least we can do, but this is absolutely an awesome project. So scrolling down, we can see my buddy Migo holding up uh, another engineering sample of the Meow Kit. Super, super cool. It's actually not just a hacking device. It's kind of a device that does a whole bunch of other cool stuff, and we'll get into it in a second. So yeah, it says this is a pocket-sized multi-tool device and AI chat, so they actually have AI functionality as well in this. I think it's kind of a cool idea. I know a lot of people are trying to put AI into everything, so I mean, it's kind of understandable that AI into a hacking tool kind of just makes sense. So down here, we do have a link to the Kickstarter, which we start there. There's really not much on it because again, this is pre Kickstarter. We're doing this before anybody knows about this. So it will be up on Kickstarter very soon. But again, keep your eye out and I'll have a link down below. So if we scroll back down there, it actually just says what comes with the Meow Kit, at least with the samples that I got, and gives you some other information. But if we scroll down, we see information on updating the firmware, which I have just done. So we have all the latest and greatest firmware, so that's good there. And if we scroll down a little further, here we have the hands-on experience, which is very cool. Fun little cartoon, but yeah, once you power on the device, you check both the buttons to make sure that they work, and then you get the interface, which is actually really nice. It's got a touch screen and color interface. I don't know what the guys over at Flipper Zero are thinking when they're doing their next device, it's going to be black and white. Color is the way to go. And touchscreen, if you can implement it well, it's a no-brainer. If you look closely, actually, right here, it's very cool. You can see the layer lines on here. So this is definitely an engineering sample. And they probably just had it 3D printed by someone like today's sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay is your one-stop shop for all things PCB design, manufacturing, 3D printing, CNC, sheet metal fabrication, and so much more. They've got engineers on staff that'll help you every single step of the way through your process project, it could be easier. So no matter what the project is, PCBWay has got you covered. Head on down to PCBWay.com for a free instant quote. Thank you so much, PCBWay, for your continued support. You guys are absolutely awesome. But let's get back at it. All right, so back at the device, we can see just a few of the applications that they have already installed. Now, one thing I do want to point out is this is a prototype. This is all very early, and that means that the firmware is also really early. Some things aren't implemented yet, and some things I've run into some like loops and some crashes. But again, I run into that on every single piece of firmware that I've run on any device, let alone something that's pre-Kickstarter. So we'll look here and we'll see that we have BLE Beacon, Wi-Fi Spam, Bad USB, um, IR, AI Chat, and an LED on there. So they have a lot of the application structure kind of figured out already, and they're just kind of building it out as they go. It's only a two-person team, so it's a lot of work to get done with two people. Also, if we scroll down here, we can see some of the applications and kind of how things are supposed to work. They have like a PC monitor on there. They have some games. They have all sorts of cool stuff. And actually, why don't we just flip over to the top down camera and get a hands on look? All right. So this is Meow Kit in all of its glory. You can even see the layer lines on it right there, which is very cool. And 
Hello. <laughs> um, but yeah, yeah, this is the Meow Kit. Now, I gotta say, for something it's 3D printed, this thing looks phenomenal. I mean, really, really good. So they use a good factory or whatever they did to print this thing. It looks great. But yeah. And then we have the GPIO on top, which is nice. We've got our USB-C, which is the only good USB power on top. And then we have another port on the side for data. That's where our micro SD card goes in. So let's fire it up and top button turns it on. Hello. There we go. And we get the little startup screen. A battery is at 78%, so we're good for now. We test A, then we press B, and then we should be in action. And yeah, there is our MeowKit interface. Let's see if I can drop the exposure just a little bit to get this easier to see. All right, so that's a little bit better. So yeah, we've got our BLE beacon, our Wi-Fi spam, our bad USB, LED, AI chat, and IR. So if we do right there, we just press on it. So again, touchscreen. And this is running what they're calling Spam Apple, which it looks like it's just going to go ahead and send a bunch of BLE beacons out. And anything that can read it will, you know, get inundated with BLE spam. So cool, cool, cool. Let's go back. And then let's see if IR is working. Nope. 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 <laughs> Yeah. So again, that's one of the things about this. It is a brand new firmware. So things don't all work right out the box, but that's okay. It will soon. So if we do Wi-Fi spam, here we go. It's running Wi-Fi spam. Let's take a look and see if this is actually working. Oh yeah. Check it out. So we have all of these different connections right here popping up on my phone. So yeah, yeah, definitely working. Fantastic. Go ahead and stop spamming Wi-Fi to all my neighbors because I know they must love that. Stop. And let's see what else we can do. I know the IR chat doesn't work. Let's see if LED does anything. Not yet. Bad USB. Not yet. Oh, I just froze it. This thing happens once in a while. Again, it's all beta. So I'll just reboot and we'll be good to go. After these messages, we'll be right back. And we're back. Cool. So if we go into bad USB again, we can see it actually does work. It's just, I don't have any bad USB files on here right now, but that seems to be implemented and working fine. Hold back to get out of here. There we go. Let's see AI chat. I'm pretty positive that doesn't work. Yeah, so that's kind of what happens when there are features that haven't been implemented yet. It throws this cool little matrix code. So it's, it's fun, I like it. Let's see, get back out of here. So what does LED do? Yeah, it looks like that just doesn't work, no problem. Scroll over. Now it has an air mouse, which is a very cool idea. It has music, which I don't have any music loaded onto here. We have retro TV. I haven't gotten this to work yet, but it's supposed to link up and play like retro TV stuff. I'm not positive again exactly how that works, but it looks really freaking cool. One thing I know works is boom, dino. Gotta love little games. So press screen. Oh, I have to press the screen. Okay. Whoop. 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 Okay, I'm not very good at Dino, but that's, you know, it's one of those, what is it, T-Rex Runner? Like the uh, the Chrome game that you can play if you're offline. It's still very fun, so let's skip out of there. And let's see what else. We've got volume meter. So, is this working? Hello? Yeah, so it's just kind of a, oh, it is working. Oh, nice. So this is like a volume meter. That's pretty fun. What else can we do? Outs. PC monitor. Now, I know this isn't real because it's not plugged into my PC, but I do like the idea that you can, you know, monitor your PC with this little device. I'd have it sitting up on my desktop because, again, it looks really cool. So I'd have that just around. So that's very fun. Exit out of there. And then what else can we do? Let's go over here. And here's the matrix. And I think that just shows what does that do? Yep, it just shows matrix code again. Exit. Um, web serial. What is demo? Yeah, uh, see, more matrix code. NFC, more matrix code. And Mac, I don't know what this does, more matrix code. Fantastic. Scroll back down, are we missing anything? Because you can see the menu right there. If we go this side, we have our control center, which has our brightness, our sound, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, and we can lock the device. Pretty fun. Let's get back out of here. Oh, actually, we're swiping now. Swipe over here, and then we have somebody's time. It's not my time, but it is a time. And then if we scroll to the bottom, we have our file browser. Very, very, very cool. So we're going to switch the exposure back to seeing things normally, and we're going to do something I'm not sure I'm allowed to do, but we're going to take this thing apart and take a look. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and do that.
Alrighty, so let's crack this thing open. Let's see if it opens easily. I've got them all off. And, oof, here we go. And we have our device. We have our battery right here. And let's disconnect the battery. Oh, careful. There we go. And yeah, that's super, super cool. Look at that. All sorts of fun stuff going on in there. Um, There's our IR right there. And then what does that even say? Teaming translator? I'm not sure. Man, there's a lot of stuff going on here. I don't know what's up. Still very cool. Does this come out? Oh, man, I don't want to pull on these. I don't want to push on anything either. How does this yeah it's gonna have to hinge out god this thing's complicated so one thing we do know it's got an esp32 s3 in there so that means this thing's got wi-fi 4 and bluetooth 5 which is pretty fun and oh yeah we're glued in here that's the problem i'm not gonna be able to take it apart any more than this but i mean i just like being able to get in here and, and kind of get a good look about what's going on in general because yeah again it's just pretty cool but yeah that's the meow kit this thing is so freaking cool and i know it's a kickstarter but the fact that they went through this much work to get a prototype that actually works well mostly is phenomenal so i actually kind of trust this one because again of course this is an engineering sample but the fit and finish if i actually ordered this and got this i'd be perfectly happy now i don't have a price on this thing yet but i do know the kickstarter is going to be open really really soon so if you're feeling adventurous you can invest in one yourself all right guys so what do you think of the meow kit does it look cool you think it's going to replace the flipper zero leave a comment down below and let me know all right stay safe stay curious we'll catch you on the next one